Today I wanted to talk about the creativity of squirrels. I wanted to present them with different challenges and see if they can meet the challenges. And it has to involve food because squirrels love to eat. They love to eat my bird seed. I've said that many times. We did the uh, taste test with nuts last week. So this week I thought I would challenge the squirrels instead of just letting them go to the bird feeder and eat the seeds or climb up the bird feeder and eat the seeds. I'm gonna give them a new challenge. And the first challenge I gave them was I took a big pretzel jar, this is the one, and I took the lid off and I just sat it on the ground, put some nuts in the bottom to see what the squirrels would do to get the nuts. So if we look at the first video, we'll see. That was way too easy for the squirrels. All they had to do was pull the jar over and now the nuts are accessible, kind of. But in order to get the nuts, because they're in the bottom of the jug, they have to climb into the jar to get it. Do you think they will? Let's take a look. So, as you can see, I have two squirrels that have different mentalities. One is a little bit more aggressive than the other one. One is very shy, very cautious. The other one's pretty bold and courageous. Um, so, for my next challenge, I thought I would just take that pretzel jar and put it on a table and see what happens. And I'll tell you right at the beginning that my shy squirrel went around the table, sniffed at it, and then went over to the bird feeder. Uh, wanted nothing to do with the jar on the table. But my bold, courageous squirrel, let's see what he did. So I have my two squirrels, uh, one is shy, one is bold. I'm going to give them names to make it easier for me and make it easier for you when I'm talking about them. So the one that's brave and courageous, I'm going to call him Sparky. And the one that's shy and nervous, I'm going to call that one Flick. Because if you noticed in the last video and you'll notice in future videos, that one will continually flick its tail. That usually indicates that it senses danger and it's a little bit nervous. So for the next challenge, I thought <laughs> Sparky has figured out if he tips over this jar, he can get all the nuts he wants. But what if he can't flip it over? So what I decided to do was to set up some bricks around the jug so that he couldn't flip it over. So let's take a look and see what Flick and Sparky do with this one. Now the next challenge is going to be, I'm going to put the lid on the pretzel jar. I'm not going to put it screwed on tight, I'm going to put it on a quarter turn to see if they can figure out how to get the lid off. So what I did is 
you're going to see two videos that are spliced together. And the first video is going to show you Flick. And you're going to recognize Flick right away because Flick's going to come up to the jar, tail flicking, tail flicking. She's going to come over and sniff the jar. She's going to look in the jar. She's going to put her hands, her paws on the jar, but she's not going to do anything. Then Sparky's going to come along and you're going to see a lot of aggression. <laughs> Sparky really wants the nuts in that jar. So let's watch this next video. Sparky's got pretty aggressive with that jar with the lid on. Eventually he did get it off, the lid off as you saw, and helped himself to all the nuts. The next thing I wanted to try was a smaller soda bottle. So I put some nuts in here and I set it out. And of course, Flick came along and sniffed it and touched it. I'm not gonna show you the video, it's pretty boring. But Sparky, on the other hand, let's see what he did with this. So it looks like nothing is going to stop Sparky from getting to his food. I decided to take a different tact. I, by the way, I thought that what he would do with that bottle is just to turn it upside down and shake the nuts out. Seems like the easiest thing to me. But he threw that bottle all over the place and it wasn't until he tried to run away with the bottle that the nuts finally started to come out. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try something completely different with the squirrels now. Forget the jars. I have a fake alligator head. And I'm going to take this and it's hollow underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it in the grass and put some nuts right in the mouth here and see what happens. I think you'll find this very interesting and you can almost predict what's going to happen. Okay, so poor Flick comes along, sees the alligator, gets a little nervous. I don't know if it's ever seen an alligator before, but I doubt it. But it must have looked dangerous to poor Flick because she never, or he, never got any nuts from the alligator's head. But along comes Sparky, the second part of the video, and Sparky goes right over to the head, reaches in, gets some nuts, no problem, happy. Here's the thing I want you to know, that these squirrels never felt like they were in mortal danger. They were a little bit nervous, and you're thinking, oh, Bill, you're making that squirrel nervous. Well, 
Flick was nervous, but it wasn't panicked because if it was really thought it was in danger, it would have run up a tree and gave its warning call. So let me show you what that looks and sounds like. I've learned a lot about squirrels studying them for the last three weeks and presenting them in these videos. Um, I, I can identify the squirrels in my yard now. I know that they have different behaviors. They act differently. Um, they're very wise. They're very clever. Um, and I have a great admiration for squirrels now that I didn't have before. Um, so I hope you guys are getting outside, writing in your journals, observing nature. It doesn't matter if it's squirrels or birds or worms or insects. Get outside and observe nature. I also want to remind you that I Bird New York Challenge has opened now. I mentioned it a couple of weeks ago, but now you can go online and take the challenge. What is it? It is you, 16 years of age or younger, are eligible if you live in New York State, and you go to the website, which is on the next slide, and you identify 10 birds, Fill out the information, where you saw it, what time, and send that in, and you're eligible for prizes. It's a lot of fun. It's a challenge. Take the challenge and get out.